What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bite the Bait Fishing. It's me Julian and today we got an exciting episode for you guys. We're going to be fishing with lures straight from the Amazon. We're going to be chasing peacock bass and all types of invasive species here in South Florida. So stay tuned. In today's video I'm going to teach you how I use the Zagaya lures. There we go. We got a peacock on right there. The Zagaya lure. Ran it right up the shoreline just like I've been telling you guys. Ooh, we actually pulling drag on this on this wheel, wheel right here. Got him hooked. That's the Zagaya. Baby gold. This right here is the Zagaya baby gold. I actually uh, did a little hook swap on these because I've caught so many fish on the treble hooks that they actually got messed up. And I really like using single hooks because they don't do as much damage to the fish. And you get, if the fish bite on, trust me, it's an immediate connection. So think about that. I might do a video on swapping your, your single hooks out, but that's the baby gold. It's one of my favorite lures from Zagaya. Rip it right through the shoreline. You get really nice peacock bass like those. All right, so right now, this is what we're throwing. This is the Zagaya mini strike gold. This is a subsurface bait but it does have potential to sink at the same time. What you do is, if you want it to start to sink slowly, it'll, sl it'll slowly sink for you if you want it to. What you gotta do is you wanna start a very slow retrieve, twitching it a couple times, pausing it for you know a few seconds, and the bait will slowly begin to suspend. So I work this bait the same as I work most jerk baits, right along the shoreline, Right, right along the canal bank is what I'm trying to do. I'm working it really slow, because what I want, I want this bait to begin to slowly suspend. It's not a suspending bait, but it does suspend. It's more of a subsurface bait, but if you work this very patiently, very slowly, you can get this bait to drop down anywhere from two to three feet, and you could target fish that are maybe a little bit further down. Got one. Got one on the mini strike. Got one on the mini strike gold there. Nice peacock, actually. Ooh, he's actually playing hard. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's flip him up. Oh, he got one hook out. Oh, man, I almost got another set of hooks. Nice little peacock bass. There we go. Fish on. Oh, man, he just, he's pulling some drag. Oh, man, that fish actually pulled pretty hard. Nice peacock bass. Wow, he's barely hooked barely hooked let's try to swing them up here oh this bad boy released or bad girl fun little quick fight there oh we got a fish on <laughs> oh man even these guys like this guy lures that is funny he just turned it on right here it's a Midas cichlid pretty decent one at that Looks like he doesn't like his own kind. He ate that little goldfish colored Zagaya lure. Check that out. On the mini strike gold from Zagaya. It's the great thing about these Zagaya lures, guys, that they pretty much catch everything and anything hanging out inside of these canals. So if you're targeting invasives, local species, you're going to pretty much catch everything on a Zagaya lure. And it's definitely something you guys should give a shot if you haven't checked them out yet i got a promo code right now on my website if you use code btbf15 you get 15 percent off your first order so that's a pretty awesome deal if you guys haven't tried these lures out i definitely recommend them they are actually currently getting released on the lucky tackle box subscription tackle boxes they got zagaya in them so that's pretty awesome and uh, I'm really excited about using these. I've been using them since last year's iCast. And I'm going to be going to iCast with Zagaya this year. So that's going to be pretty fun. If you guys are going to be out there, make sure you guys pass by the Zagaya booth so we can hang out and talk a little bit about fishing. If you guys got any questions about these lures, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And now this mini strike gold is the, the candy for these fish. I've caught all types on it right now. And I'm working it really slowly, basically letting it sink like I was describing earlier and running it right along this canal bank line because that's where all the fish are right now this time of year. Fish are trying to get together, trying to spawn. And yep, they're pretty much finding their little nest eggs where they're going to 
lay their eggs down. Oh man, we got a school of peacock bass that are right here in front of me. Oh, and I got a peacock bass to strike the mini strike goal. There we go. Where is he going? Oh, he is running right there. He's pulling drag on us. Oh my goodness. Did you just see that jump? He's pulling drag. He is angry. That was an awesome jump. He's coming back up, I think. Oh no. Let's keep that tension on the line. It's a nice peacock. Oh yeah, he's pulling drag. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there. It's probably about a solid two and a half, maybe more. Don't want to say it's, he's pulling drag still. He's not tiring out. Man, I'm trying to, oh my God, I can't believe he's pulling that much drag. I think he's tired. Beautiful coloration. Oh yeah, that's a nice pea. That is a very nice peacock right there. Oh, he is not giving up. Oh, that's actually a decent peacock bass, you guys. That's probably closer to four pounds. Look at that thing. Oh man, he is barely hooked. I gotta be careful. This, uh, this canal hasn't been nice to me. The last time I was here, you guys remember, I broke my one of my favorite rods here. And this fish is probably just about as big as that last fish. I don't think it's the same one I caught last week, but it is just, oh my God, I cannot go in the water again. Oh no, um, got him and I got a soaked tennis shoe right there. Look at that peacock right there, you guys. Another solid peacock bass, you guys, on the Zagaya Mini Strike Gold. Beautiful fish. That's a pig. Oh, we got a fish. What is that? That's a tilapia, I think. Yep. <laughs> tilapia on the baby gold. He destroyed that thing. He did not like it coming by. Cool. We are catching all types of species today. And there's a guy lures. Check that out, guys. That's pretty awesome right there. Right on the top of the mouth. Check that out, guys. Another awesome catch on the Zagaya lure. That's in the baby gold right there. You crushed it. Got him. Got him. I got him this time. We got just a few seconds left on his memory card here. Let's try to get him up before. He's a nice one too. Really nice color fins on him and a nice hump actually coming up. This is the male. So that means there must be a nice female. Take a look at that. Beautiful male right there. Took me some time, but finally got him to bite. Think that that was a nice hump starting to come up on his head. All right, you guys, so that concludes our episode today for Bite the Bait Fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something. If you guys did, please make sure to leave us a thumbs up. It does support our channel a lot. If you're new to Bite the Bait Fishing, make sure to subscribe because we're gonna be dropping a lot of episodes this 2017. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, if you liked it so much, make sure you share the video with some friends to spread the word of Bite the Bait Fishing and check the promo code down below for www.bitethebaitfishing.com so you guys can get a discount on your first order of Zagaya Lures. That's all for us today here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.